Colorado first for you tonight. As many Coloradans of all ages struggle with their mental health, now one community organization aimed at cultivating a thriving Latino community in Denver is giving people a break from things like stress and social media, an outlet for creative expression. Marissa Armas tonight on the importance of these spaces. For the past four months, Servicios de la Raza has hosted art events to help address behavioral health. This has been a way for people in the community to disconnect and to find a new approach to healing. Our community is crying for healing. Using yarn and glue, this organization is weaving closed wounds. Yeah. Some people don't like speaking in therapy and just using their hands helps them show how they feel. And using the arts to address mental health hasn't always been readily available to many in West Denver. Since I grew up in this um, neighborhood my whole life and I've known it's never been there, so seeing that it's there now, it's a good movement. Servicios de la Raza's El Arte Cura is an art series geared towards the Latino community, encouraging indigenous and holistic practices and bringing people beyond traditional therapy. I get the whole idea is we come from a cultural, like artistic background. All of you think about indigenous cultures, how creative our culture was. Going backwards to the folk arts and how important those folk arts are. Case manager Mandy Medrano says considering the current climate, a different approach is vital. Definitely a necessity, definitely a need and a, a lot amongst young people lately with the ODs on fentanyl and so we're having parents and we're having families reach out to us and you know asking for help asking for support support allowing people to disconnect from the outside world giving them a moment to reflect through art it gives the youth time to get off social media in their phones and just use their head and hands for a little bit and just escape reality. Now coming up in October, the organization here will start their series on Dia de los Muertos. For more information on that and other services the organization offers, you can visit our website. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First.